Welcome to the MZ training series. The aim of this webinar is to touch on the main features of Analyst in under five minutes. To log into Analyst, you will receive an email from our client services team, which will direct you to a password creation page. Once you're all logged in, this is what you should be seeing. It's worth also mentioning a couple of help points we have included should you need them. The first is Knowledge Base. Knowledge Base is a separate website full of tutorials, how-to guides, and useful bits of information around the system and MZ data. The second is our chat function. Simply click on the speech bubble in the bottom right-hand corner and type your question or message. This will come through to the client services team and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You might also see we'll send you helpful messages from time to time. To access your data, simply click on any of the reports on the left-hand side of your page. These might differ slightly depending on your requirements and your subscription details. Today, we are going to be focusing on occupations and industries. Now, to understand exactly what this means for your area, we have split these up to look at them separately. The industry reports allow you to focus on businesses, organizations, and employers. The occupations focus on the employee and their role within the organization. If you want to understand sectors, look at industries. If you want to look at a specific job, look at occupations. Now, let's start by looking at industries. We keep the most used reports at the top of the page, so if you're new to analysts, we'd recommend looking here first. Let's look at an industry table. Enter your requirements, such as the region and any specific industries you have in mind, and click Run. Once you're in the report, make sure you've checked the information on the left-hand side of your page, including your time frame and your class of workers. Now, to make the information easy to use, we use government SIC codes to classify the industries and organize the data. You don't need to have used these codes before to use the system, so I'll show you a quick example of how they work. Here, you can see a one-digit SIC code. This is LMI data at a high level. If we use the example of manufacturing, you can see this includes large job numbers as it includes all organizations that deal with manufacturing. We can break this information down to a two digit code just by clicking these arrows. Here you can see it is broken down into a little more detail by looking at the different types of manufacturing. Here we have food, beverages, tobacco, and textiles. We can break this down further by looking at food products. Here you can see it's broken down to a three digit SIC code and broken down into meat, fish, fruit and veg. We can break this down one more time by looking at a four digit code. Here you can see meat, poultry and production. You'll see these four digit codes are the most detailed information on industries that we have. If you look at an occupation table, you'll see that it's structured in the exact same way using SOC codes. One digit being high level data and four digit being low level data. You can begin to section off this data and dig a little deeper by clicking on the first tab at the top of the page where you can select the level of SIC or SOC code you wish to look at. Now that we've had a look at industries, let's jump back to the home page and look at occupations. A lot of the reports that we have for industries, we also have for occupations. As we've already looked at a table, we're now going to look at an occupation overview. Once we've entered the occupation or occupations we want to look at, let's click Run. Once you've checked the additional filters on the left-hand side of your page, you'll see the overview report will provide you with a little bit more detail on the specific area that you're wanting to look at. Many of the pages within the analyst system will allow you to jump from one report to another based on the information you've already put in. And you can also export this data by clicking the export button in the top right hand corner of the page to download the information as Word, Excel or PDF. Thank you for watching and we hope you found this quick tutorial helpful. If you have any further questions or are wanting a bespoke training, please visit the link to sign up for a free webinar.